Hello everyone, myself Svigiti Sinha and today I will be covering the topic images in this video. So let's begin with the theme of image insertion in a document. There are five total ways to insert an image file in the document. So let's start with our first way that is drag and drop. Step 1. Locate the picture you want to insert. Then step 2 is to drag the image in the writer document and drop it. Your image is inserted. The second way is to insert picture dialog. Step 1. On the document click where you want the image to be inserted. Step 2. Click insert then picture and then from file. Step 3 is to navigate to the file and select it and click open. Your image is inserted. The third method is inserting an image from the clipboard. Step 1. Locate the image you want to insert. Step 2. Write click on that image and press copy or press ctrl plus c to copy it. And then step 3 is to open the open office document and right click where you want to insert the image. Then paste or press ctrl plus v. Your image is inserted. The next method is to insert an image using a scanner. For this you need to go to insert, then picture, then scan and then select source. And an important note to mention that while using this method you need to make sure that a scanner is connected to your PC. And the last method is inserting a picture from gallery. Step 1. To open the gallery, click the gallery icon from the standard toolbar. Step 2. Select the desired picture. And step 3 is to drag and drop the picture in the document. Your image is inserted. Now let's learn how to use the picture toolbar. When you insert an image or select one already present in the document, the picture toolbar appears. The graphics mode. It has four options that are default, watermark, grayscale and black or white. Flip vertically or horizontally. To flip an image vertically or horizontally, select the image and then click the relevant icon. Color. Use this toolbar to modify the color components of an image as well as the brightness contrast and gamma of the image. Filters. There are 11 filters in open office like invert, smooth, sharpen, etc. Transparency. You can modify the percentage value to make the image more transparent. So the next topic to be covered is cropping images. Cropping is the removal of unwanted outer areas from an image. To start cropping the image, right click on it and select picture from the pop-up menu. In the picture dialog box, select the crop page. In open office, there are two facilities to crop an image. That is keep scale and keep image size. When keep scale is selected, cropping the image does not change the scale Whereas, keep image size produces enlargement or distortion of the image. The next theme is to resize an image. Step 1. Click the picture to show the green resizing handles. Step 2. Position the pointer over one of the green resizing handles. And step 3 is to click and drag to resize the picture. Step 4 is to release the mouse button when satisfied with the new size. The next is to rotate a picture. Select the image and then in the drawing toolbar, select the rotate icon from the effects tier of toolbar and rotate the image as desired. 
creating drawing objects step 1 go to view then toolbars and then drawing step 2 click in the document where you want the drawing step 3 click the tool from the drawing toolbar step 4 is to move the crosshair pointer to the place in the document where you want the graphic to appear and click and drag to create the drawing object and then release it the selected drawing function remains active so you can draw another object of the same type step 5 you can now change the properties of the drawing object using either the drawing object or properties toolbar to set or change properties for drawing objects step 1 on the drawing toolbar click the select icon or the select tool step 2 on the drawing object properties toolbar click on the icon for each property and select the value you want for the property for more control or to define new attributes you can click on the area or line icons on the toolbar to display detailed dialog boxes to change the properties for an existing drawing object first select the object and then continue as described earlier to group different drawing objects you need to select one object then hold on to the shift key and select the others you want to include in the group the bounding box expands to include all the other shapes step 2 is that with the object selected hover the mouse pointer over one of the objects and choose format then group and then group from the menu bar or right click and choose group from the drop down menu the next is positioning image or graphics within the text when you add a graphic to a text document you need to choose how to position it with respect to the text and other graphics the positioning of a graphic is controlled by four settings that is arrangement alignment anchoring and text wrapping the settings can be assessed in a number of ways depending on the nature of the graphics for example from the format menu where you can find alignment arrange wrap and anchor so that's it for today thank you for joining me